Hello guys, what's up? Uh, right now we're going to be going through how to save uh, your, we'll get your movies to your Plex server. Because I had a video a little bit recently where I showed you guys that you can build a Plex server with pretty much nothing. And in this video I'm going to show you how to actually get your movies copied from the disk and then you can move them to the Plex server. So what you need to get is you need to get make MKV. This will copy your movies uh, and put them into a MKV file format. So if you guys have any issues with the, uh, MKV file formats, you might want to think about that beforehand. But in my experience on Plex Media Server, I'm able to watch the files on there that are MKVs just fine. Um, if you have a Syn Synology Disk Station, the Video Station app on there, it doesn't seem to like... MKVs, so that's something to take into account, although I think if you have Plex Media Server installed on your Synology Disk Station, it might work on there just fine. I don't have a newer Synology, so I can't test that for you guys. But anyways, what you do is you put the disk in your Blu-ray or DVD drive, which if you guys are getting Blu-rays, you will need to get a Blu-ray drive, and I'll leave the link on uh, in the description below. To show you guys what Blu-rays are compatible with Make MKV. So first thing is you put your disc in, and sometimes when you put your movie in, it will have a whole list of like uh, the movie title, and it will include like a chapter's number next to it, and it'll have a whole list all the way down. Kind of like how you know all these uh, lines right here. It'll have all these lines of just the movie title and a chapter count and a file size. So if you guys have a whole list of these, don't select all of them. Deselect all of them, go to the right, find, it'll be typically the biggest file size, and it'll have a high count of chapters. So high count chapters, high file size, and you will select just that movie. And in here you can deselect some of these things you don't need, like if you don't need Spanish, French, that type of stuff, or whatever these languages uh, you have in your list. You don't have to keep them. You can also get rid of subtitles if you don't want them as well. That can save a little bit of file space if you want, I think. It's not a big deal if you leave them there, though. But you'll select the one file that, like I said, has high chapters and high file size. And you will go up to here, and you'll do Make MKV. And this will, it's time consuming process, we'll ju I'll just show you this real quick. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way through on here, I'm just going to bring you to handbrake next, but it will start reading it, and it will give you an estimated time for how long this should take, which for DVDs they're about 20 minutes, yeah, 20 to 30 minutes, and I got a pretty good Blu-ray drive. Uh, if you guys... Uh, do Blu-rays, they can take like 40 minutes even. It just depends on what disk drive you have and its speed, but it'll take this amount of time to copy it, so there's that. So once you have it copied, if it's a DVD, don't file compress it. There's no point. Try to keep the quality in the movie, because a DVD drive is already, like a DVD file is already lower quality, so don't compress that. Um... And then what you can do is you can copy it uh, to your server. What you could do actually is you can install this program on your server and run it on there so you don't need to transfer stuff over to it. That's a good idea as well. Uh, so if you have a Blu-ray movie, this file size will be about 30 to 60 gigs depending on the movie. And if you guys are tight on space, like I said in the last video uh, regarding the Plex server, you will want to compress that because I have about three, a little under 400 movies on my Plex server, and it has a 2 terabyte uh, red NAS drive and a 200 gig SSD, and I only have about 30 gigs of storage left between the two. So, and it has majority of DVDs, not many Blu-rays, and they're all file compressed Blu-rays as well. So, if you guys have, think about this, if you guys have about 10 Blu-ray movies and they are about 40 gigs in size 
you're talking about 400 gigs of storage being used so you'll want to think about that uh, in either doing file compressing or what you can do is just buy a large amount of storage buy like a eight terabyte drive or something do something like that if you are wanting to keep these a lossless quality technically but if you want to file compress get this app called handbrake and I just have a video here it's not a good picture of me but I got this video here uh, and I want to file compress it in your instance this will be your movie and you'll just open source right up here and you'll go find where your movie is being stored and this is uh, this is quite demanding so you want to do this on probably not your Plex server for compressing because your Plex server unless it has a really good CPU it's gonna take a long long time to compress I have a Ryzen 5 2600 clocked at 4 gigahertz and it's water-cooled so it won't thermal throttle ever and when I did my blu-ray movies at its preset I had it set to it would take about an hour well uh, actually it might, it might have taken about two hours so it took almost two hours per blu-ray movie so and that's pounding the CPU 100% it's completely pegged at full usage so you could run this on your Plex server but it would take a lot longer if it's not very powerful of a system uh, so you might want to run this on your main PC if you want to file compress but then you just drop your uh, video in here there's presets which you can find a pre-made one or you can do a custom one yourself by changing these and you can save it and then down here show custom uh, these are kind of your quality stuff your video encoder which I think you I want to see how this I might test this sometime for you guys although I use uh, x264 that's just what I used uh, I'm not sure how it would work with your uh, like a, a graphics card but I might try that some other time but just use CPU that's what I did um, there's subtitles which you can disable like you can add like track lists for subtitles and all that uh, there's all this sorts of stuff you can show kind of give it some information for the movie so you can change the title and that's why I recommend is you change the title so if you have let's just say you had uh, what is it, Terminator so you, you call it Terminator in here or something well okay, I guess that didn't change it to down here so you want to rename the movie down here all the time but what you'll do is what I recommend is you you can watch videos online of how people tweaked their settings to give you the best quality if you care about that too much or you can just test one of these pre-made ones I would say do a lot of testing pull up on your monitors or your TV the original blu-ray and then pull up right next to it or watch it a little bit later the compressed file to see if there's quality loss and if you want to boost it uh, like your quality preset to make it look better but this will degrade some quality of your movie that's something to accept but if you're tight on storage it won't be a big deal I was able to compress stuff from it was around 30 to 60 gigs down to about four ish and there wasn't much quality loss so it is what it is but if you guys care about quality either have your settings really high and the higher your preset is the longer it will take to compress it because that's to spend more time trying to keep the quality if it's time consuming if you do it that way but if you guys care about quality don't compress if you want to compress it down for small file sizes compress it down but anyways once you have all your settings set up and you have it tweaked out to how you like uh, or you're just wanting to test how it looks you do start encoding and this is going by really fast because this is a short video but it will encode to whatever folder you have it set to and yeah you just kind of do that and it will work pretty well see this is this is going kind of slow because I have it super high quality and this is how long is this video I put in here um, 
it was about a 58 megabyte video so yeah it's taking a second though but uh, cancel current stop there we go so that's kind of all you guys need to know if uh, so you just and make MKV just to wrap it up put your disk in copy it put it on your server uh, if it's blu-ray and you want to compress it go to here play with the settings compress it put it on your server and that's it guys it's pretty easy although the longest part about this is just copying the movie and then compressing it but if you guys liked the video hope you guys liked it leave a like if you did and i'll see you guys again next time have a good one